Tonight, we're learning more about one of the firearms found inside of the gunman's Burnsville home. The shooting at a domestic call killed two Burnsville police officers and a firefighter a week ago. A Burnsville gun shop owner now confirms an AR-15 type rifle was traced to his store about a month before the deadly confrontation. The gunman, Shannon Gooden, was barred from the courts from owning a firearm, but our Paul Bloom has been digging into this and he joins us now from our live center. The owner of the Modern Sportsman in Burnsville now says authorities are investigating the sale and transfer of a critical piece of an AR-15 as what's known as an illegal straw purchase, meaning someone buying a gun as a proxy for someone else who is either banned from doing so or does not want their name associated with such a transaction. So let's break this down. Here is the Modern Sportsman shop on County Road 42 in Burnsville. It is about six miles from where Shannon Gooden lived. Owner John McConkey tells Fox 9 there is now a criminal investigation underway in connection to the apparent straw purchase that occurred at his shop. This is all according to McConkey. He says the AR-15 lower receiver was purchased from an out-of-state retailer and then shipped to the Modern Sportsman for transfer. McConkey insists Shannon Gooden was not at the store during the transfer process, nor was his name on any of the related documents. Again, Gooden was barred from owning guns for life, fallout from an assault conviction. McConkey tells Fox 9 he and his team had absolutely no way of knowing the weapon would end up in the hands of a convicted felon who was prohibited from owning a gun. We asked former U.S. Attorney Erica McDonald her takeaways from the day's developments. So federally, if you are convicted of making a straw purchase, you face up to 15 years in prison, um, with the exception that it could be up to 25 years in prison if it's purchased knowing that it was going to be used in a drug trafficking crime, a terrorist event of some sort, or felony offense. 100% what you're going to look at is what is the life of that gun? Where did that gun start? Who owned the gun? Who are the registered owners? And how did it get in his hands? And so you're going to trace that gun ownership back, which we can do through records. And Important to note here, state and federal law enforcement investigators are not commenting on this investigation and no charges have yet been filed. We also do not know if Gooden actually used the gun during the deadly standoff and confrontation. The store owner is only saying the AR-15 lower receiver was found at the home after the shooting and then traced back to the modern sportsman in the live center paul blue fox 9. well today burnsville firefighter paramedic and army veteran adam finseth made his final journey to his resting place in fort snelling cemetery fire trucks led the way from the station to fort snelling this morning with many supporters and mourners lining the overpasses to show their support along the route